revealing the mystery of the brain is the last frontier in science. The human brain is a very sophisticated neural network containing 100 billion neurons that generates emotion, perception, and so on and so forth. Brain scientists at the Fudan University have long been exploring fundamental principles of brain functioning with a special emphasis on bench to bed work by forging a close and interactive, interactive collaboration between basic and clinical research. Brain disorders such as drug addiction is a global public health issue that causes a very serious problem, not only in healthcare, but also in social stability. The treatment for drug addiction is extremely challenging given the frequent relapse, simply due to the exposure to drug-related environment or cues. We are now trying to develop a novel strategy for bad treatment of relapse. We have first established a mouse model of cocaine addiction by ejecting cocaine into the belly and kept these mice in this very well-designed environment, referred as to drug-related environment. When these mice were treated by a process called extinction learning, that's to let these mice be repeatedly exposed to drug-related environment, but without providing cocaine, these mice show decreased repress. Our major finding is that the effect of extinction learning could be enhanced by Cavidilo, a drug targeting congestive heart failure. And this important finding strongly suggests Cavidilo and other relevant drugs could be developed as a new potential medication along with the existing behavioral therapies to reduce the occurrence of a relapse dramatically. On the other hand, we also endeavor to contribute to the re restoration of neural functions. Eye diseases such as retinitis pigmentosa could eventually lead to blindness by killing all light response cells in the retina. In collaboration with uh, material science at uh, Fudan University, we recently developed light-sensitive titanium oxide nanowires that serve as a light, uh, artificial light response cells in the eye. When transplanted into the eyes with retinitis pigmentosa, these nanowires could generate electric currents that activate not only the neurons in the retina, but also in the neurons in visual cortex, a high center of vision. When put into a light, dark box, these mice would preferentially stay in the dark side of the box, a light-driven avoidance behavior in mice. Strongly suggest that these mice, once blind animal, are now able to perceive light. This result, though preliminary, uh, could use to be a potential new treatment option for people at the risk of long-term visual degeneration. Brain scientists uh, at the Fudan University will do much more efforts to improve the treatment of brain disorders by strengthening the close and the interactive collaboration between clinical and the basic research. And in the China Brain Project, a nationwide effort to push brain research forward in clinical, basic, and brain-inspired intelligence aspects in China, we have been playing and the will to continue to play a crucial role. Thank you very much.